trying to fix the shifter on the GMA GOM. So this is, let's start off with how it even works first off. That way you can understand why we're trying to fix it. So if you didn't build a kit, you may not realize how the dig system is set up and you may be having problems with your dig. So you've got this piece that's got these uh, guides, I guess. And then you have the guides on the bottom of the skid plate and then inside the transmission you see the other one. So I've already tried to fix this by putting that washer on there. So basically what I was trying to do is you've got those metal bars right here on the two speed and dig so those bars are trying to push this way and your servo is trying to pull this way and you can see it puts it out of bind and see even just does not want to move very smoothly and easily which you know if everything's perfectly lined up and straight then there's not a problem but as soon as you got loads on it trying to push different ways this does not want to work so try putting this together can't give you a better idea yes right here it's, you see I'm not even hardly doing anything it's just very hard to get to work so show you what we're trying to accomplish here with the plan so first thought was to get this styrene square I drilled it out and plan was to put it in here and then we'll have a, a bolt come through there which will do it so I think that would still work but I'm thinking you know this is plastic it's gonna wear out so I decided to go with some brass tubing basically this one's about the size of the bar there put this in let me get it in there kind of give you an idea so as you can see, I've got some marks on here and it shows how, that's basically how far this is going to go in when it goes to dig. It's that black line and then also up here at the transmission. So I'm going to put this piece in, it's probably going to be a pain because I have to move the transmission, the transfer case off that let me get this all put together but you'll get to, you're getting an idea I'm sure already took a little bit of doing but we got it in there so now we're gonna have our shift lever and it's gonna be a more of a solid mount I'm gonna get it I'll put a nut on this side of the screw so that it's solid we don't really have any not a lot of twisting a lot of this is gonna go away after we put the skid plate back on but now it's gonna be a direct link from the servo to the shift linkage so then there's our dig and then once we go from dig we can go to two speed and we should have enough bar on here on each side that the bar doesn't slide off I could have went maybe just a little bit more but I think it's gonna be okay for as much as it's gonna be moving it should be okay hopefully this eliminates the binding and this should be a simpler solution that I can think of at the moment. So on the front of this there was a piece that come up to match the angle on this. I did cut it off because plan A had the square. Don't know if that was necessary now but it's not going to be a big deal. So let's try to get all this in there back together We'll see that should be about long enough of a piece a screw and let's see how we're standing so to do this I did have to cut this piece off of here I don't know how it was attached to there it's somewhere on there so I cut that out just a little bit probably didn't need to cut that much out but we needed this space for the piece that I've decided to use for my uh, spacer. So a little while ago, a little while ago, a second ago I probably said cut this piece out to make it bigger, more room. Well that was a mistake. 
So the piece that I'm putting in here, I'm going to have to cut this piece of styrene to fill that back in there because now the shift linkage has too much room and it's going bloop, bloop, bloop. But early tests are promising. Don't cut that out unless you have to with your spacer. Another thing I found is that I broke that, but this side, I don't know if you can see it, you can see it's cracked. So I had to build a new piece for that. So let me get this styrene built and we'll see where we go next. Here's the fix to my mistake where I cut that off. Now it's not perfect, it's not pretty, but you're not going to see it. And I made it a little bit of adjustment in it so that it can be moved up and down we'll try to tighten it up but in the end I don't think that you need to cut that piece out that I did all right well sorry for all the noise of the fan and stuff but right now we've got the gom on and going so find my switch here so now we have our dig and of course the rear tire will roll lock it up but it's already locked up now so there's our dig and the part I've been kind of having some problem with is the two speed still but looks like we might have it low or two speed and then there's dig so I see no you see the servo move there but once it locks in it kind of eases up on it a little bit as you see when I turned it it's just got to get catch the the right spot in the gearing so there we are now I'll put this thing back together and do some lighting on it maybe that'll be another video thanks for watching we'll get this thing out and test it out next time